Here, let's do a demonstration of how to properly use and write with a fountain pen. Okay, the first thing you need to be aware of is that certain papers are going to perform better with fountain pens. Here's a few brands that we would recommend. Takasago, this is their premium paper. Diet, this is a really popular brand. Uh, Endless, their Fontaine. Rodia paper, Endless recorder notebook. Claire Fontaine and Takasago. And the fountain pen performed really well in all four of those different types of paper. But then watch how it might not perform well on, say, a post-it note. And actually, this one still writes, but you can see it's going to glitch out there a little bit. This is how you hold your fountain pen. You kind of want a 45 degree angle right here so that the nib is hitting the paper at a 45 degree angle. And you just want to make sure to put light pressure on that nib. It doesn't need a lot. You can let the nib do the work. You don't need to push. You're just going to set it to the page and then write. How you hold the pen can vary. Some people hold it slightly different, but you just want to always look for that 45 degree angle between the nib and the paper. If you've got all that covered and you're still getting inconsistent lines, I would say you want to rinse out your pen. You want to wash it out um, to make sure the converter and the feed and the nib are all completely clean. Let us know if you have any other um, common questions about fountain pens or how to write with fountain pens.